Okay, so today I'm going to talk about um, W.B. Yeats, and we're going to start off with who was W.B. Yeats. William Butler Yeats was a well-known Irish poet of the 19th and early 20th century. He was born on June 13th in Dublin, Ireland, and during his lifetime he, began, he became one of the most influ influential and celebrated poets of all time. Um, he had very strong political views, and he used that to promote cultural activism within and outside of his Irish community. He was one of the founders of the Abbey Theatre, and he also was a playwright. Um, his early life. He was born in a very artistic family and was one of four children, which hence why he became a poet for one reason. His father was John Butler Yeats, and he was a well-known um, painter in their community. And his mother was Susan Mary Poxflin, I think that's how you say it. And she came from a wealthy family of merchants, um, whereas you know, his father didn't have such a status, but his mother did. Um, he spent most of his life, and he grew up in County Sligo, Ireland, which is in the northern part of Ireland. And um, it's in one of the major like export areas, which is why they were raised there, because of his mother's side of the family being merchants. Um, his childhood and its effects on his poetry. County Silgo was a major impact on his writing and also his interests. So it was a coastal town in Northern Ireland and it's known for its rich cultural history as well as heritage and it's supposed to be a very beautiful place, especially if you look at the pictures. Um, a large majority of his poems actually mention the landscape of Silgo as well as the folklore of the Irish community. And his mother was a large influence on some of his most notable poems and stories as she told him and his siblings about their culture and all the folklore of Sulgo, as like bedtime stories and it's just, you know, child entertainment. Um, religion and politics played a major part in his poems later on and also like his beliefs and who he spent time with. He was raised under the Protestant ascendancy during a time when Ireland was undergoing an identity crisis due to all the changes happening with the nationalist revival of the 19th century. Um, the changes inspired his poetry and later he, as he searched for like the true identity of Ireland and also like his like his people's just heritage and origins. His interest in politics grew greatly during the 20s and in Ireland and um, he became influenced by Ezra Pound and T.S. Eliot. He was extremely unhappy with the political situation of Ireland as well as the rest of Europe. He became a senator of the Irish Free State in 1922 and won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1939 for being a cultural activist and leader. He was widely known like just throughout the world like it wasn't just in Europe that people knew about him everywhere did which is why he got the Nobel Prize. Um, occultism and ghosts he was very it was very kind of peculiar interest to Yeats and um, because most people found it kind of odd and demonic especially in that time where like Catholics and it was such like a major role and for him to be interested in ghosts and like demons and afterlife and stuff like that. Um, but it wasn't very uncommon in the Sligo area where he was raised because it was kind of like a part of their subculture. Yates' family also had interest in occultism too, as well as his sister who was a believer in the second sight in ghosts. And she, I'm pretty sure, believed that she had the second sight, which is interesting. Kind of like a psychic nowadays. His interest in spiritualism like caused Yates to become to begin investigating and learning about the paranormal and even a, join a club that focused on ghosts. During this time, he wrote one of his famous early poems, The Lake Isle of In Innis Free, which he describes a Puritan woman being transformed by love. And it takes place in the magical land of, well, guess it, Silgo, because that's where most of his are about. He also edited and composed fairy and folk tales of the Irish peasantry, as well as the Celtic Twilight, which are Celtic Twilight, sorry, which are folklore narratives that showed off his artistic and storytelling capabilities. His poem, The Wanderings of Oyasin, I think is how you say it, was based off of Irish mythology and occultism and took two years to complete and was actually the last poem he ever completed. And thus, this is why, like, 
Yeats, like one of his main interests was actually like politics, the government, um, cause you know, he, he became a senator and also just like, how to describe it? Like the folklore and he wanted to push like Ireland's like true identity rather than just falling into like the rest of Europe and not really having like a set like culture. And so that's W.B. Yeats.